Hello, have you ever wondered how to create your own chat GPT? Well, I did and I decided to use chat GPT itself to make it happen. So, I made a simple website using Python Flask as the backend and HTML. CSS, JavaScript as the front end. As I said, I use chat GPT to make my own chat GPT. My logic is simple. I created a web page where I can enter my questions and then my backend code will just put that question on chat GPT. And when chat GPT generates the answer, the code will extract it using web scraping and send the answer to my web page. For the web UI, I created this HTML. I gave a heading as welcome to Steve's chat GPT. Then, I created a login button and gave an ID to the element. Then, I created an input text box to enter questions and a submit button. I also created a div element where I will display my response. Now let me show you my backend code. I made it using Python Flask. I made a login function where I will open chat GPT using basic selenium and login into chat GPT using my Google account. Here you need to enter your Google it and password. Since I'm using Selenium, all this will happen automatically. I made another function for submitting the question on chat GPT and then scraping the response and returning it back to front end. So coming back to my front end, now here I've used Chori Ajax to send a request to my backend function and JavaScript to display the response, which I got from the backend in the div element that I created. When I click on login button, the request will go to the login function created in my backend. And when I click on submit button, the request will go to the request chat GPT function created in my backend. For exploring and learning, I will provide you my code in the description box. So, let me run my Python Flask app and show you how it works. On clicking on login button, it automatically opened chat GPT, and now it will login into chat GPT. Now, I'll come to my web page and type any question, and click on submit. Now comes the interesting stuff. You see, my request has gone to ChatGPT, and ChatGPT is generating the response to my question. And there you go. My web page shows you the response or the answer to the query. It's like my website is behaving like an AI, even though it's not. So that's how I made my own chat GPT, using some basic Python and a simple logic. If you like this video, then please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching, see you in my next video.